so I know the last live stream I did, I was unboxing uh, one of these Uno packs. So I'm just, I'm deciding that one of the things I'm gonna be doing with YouTube is talking about all my VFriend stuff. So I am going to be unboxing this. Um, I'll put it in the notes when this, no, I'll just do it now because I'm excited about it. But I'm also going to be, so this is my VFriends hoodie. There's no drawstring to it. So I'm gonna be cutting two holes in it and putting the drawstring in. I'm also thinking I wanna improve the lighting in here. So, um, from what I understand, this is actually a little on the rare side. Um, the orange box is this is the middle ground. So, like, there's a common box color, then there's a rare one, and then there's like a very rare one. So, like, pink is super rare, green's like normal. Um, what I went and did today, so I did open one box, one pack of cards. So, this is kind of cool. It opens like this. I got two more coming in because we bought three NFTs when the project dropped, when VFriend Series 2 came out. So pretty excited that this is not the only box that is coming. Um, I bought like a bunch of these like clear um, holders so that they did not get beat up. But this literally feels like I'm back in middle school. Like I'm so excited to open my box of cards. Um, like just like the foil wrapping is like so nostalgic for me uh i i can't i can't describe the joy that is occurring right now so what i'm hoping for is to pull a couple maybe a couple of rare cards so brown is rare and green is epic i believe um so my first pack um was a couple of common cards all yellow um so 75 is the highest, 63, six, my, I guess my best card so far has been a 66 crane. So for those that don't know, uh, VFriends is an NFT project. Um, Gary Vaynerchuk started last year. He put out first series of NFTs and they were available to purchase at about $1,700. In the past year, um, they, the cheapest you could find them was about $50,000. Um, in August, he came out with book games. I bought four book games NFTs, and for about $360 each, I ended up selling one of them for $1,200 and made my money back, and then got to hold on to three of them. And then I ended up buying a couple more, so I now own about 10 of them. When, uh, at some point, he said the VFriend Series 2 NFTs were coming out, so I went and bought a couple of those. Um, and he didn't even reveal until a bit later that these boxes of cards were coming out inside of them, uh, like with it. So we don't know what other utility he's going to add, but pretty excited about it. Let's add some light here. It's going to get real bright. All right. So this is my like new favorite shirt. It's the uh, pink V Friends shirt. So each of these packs has four four cards in it. I'm probably gonna, maybe I'll just hold on to one pack at the very end or something just to like have an unopened one. I don't know. But there's three more boxes coming, so I'm just gonna enjoy the shit out of this one I can. Got a versatile Viking common, got a warm roll green common, and a perspective pigeon common, and a turnt tick common. So the next highest one, the versatile Viking is a 73 overall. So I'm gonna be a little bit annoying in pausing from anyone who's actually here to enjoy the unboxing, which I don't know why people do that, but they do. Um, I just, I'm, I get excited about VFriends because I love what he is planning on doing with it and turning it into so much more um, and really making a case for like why being a good person and having all these sort of virtues like being warm being versatile having perspective um like i just love like the whole culture that he's promoting through it um i really do uh, there's also a part of me that's like liking the flip culture of it so for example this v friend shirt i have an unopened one 
Um, and I'm thinking that along with the hoodie, um, I'll probably try to sell that for double the price in, in a year or something. I don't know. All right, let's open another one. So that's two down. It's so funny. I can't imagine if I had like done this when I was a kid. Like there would be videos of me opening Tom Brady rookie cards back when I didn't know who Tom Brady was. Like I would've been like, oh, it's a new Patriots player. I don't know him back in 2000. Are we in the Eager Eagle 62 core innovative Impala 65 core humble hummingbird 65 and accountable ant eater 65 all commons so no rares no epics yet no one of ones them all core but either way I'm at least putting them in the um, protective plastic and then if anything good comes, uh, I just ordered on Amazon today um, a couple of like hard plastic um, ones. I think I might actually have some for my football card collection. I don't, I've, I've given away about 99% of my football card collection. I probably have a little under 100 cards left. I used to have an insane amount of boxes. And then as a teacher in 2016, um, I found a kid that one really loved football cards and two for some reason really loved the like decade that I collected a lot of so I just gave him like all of them to him all of the common ones I didn't give him like all the autographed ones and stuff but um, I, I still have a good I think my I have a, my most prized ones are I have a Kobe rookie graded I have a John Elway rookie graded and I have a couple Brady's, Brady rookies, Genuine Giraffe, Humble Hedgehog, Calm Clam, Boisterous Beaver, all comments. I realize that the amount of yellow cards that I'm pulling out, like it's gonna be that much more exciting to pull a non I'm also glad that I have three boxes coming because this might be a tiny bit heartbreaking if I don't have, I don't know, at least one rare one. I guess at least I have the orange box as something good. We are four packs deep of 13 packs. is pretty much just for myself in the future this is not so much for I don't expect anyone to ever watch this I really if you're ever watching this just want you to know sometimes it's good to take joy in oh I got something good oh okay it's a rare so it's brown and it's 125. Can you see that little number at the bottom? All right, so that's a pretty cool card. So I thought the, I was kind of annoyed that he chose brown for like rare, like my brown. Maybe it's because people shit on brown and he wants to, he loves the idea of like bringing value to things that don't previously have value. So this is currently the best card I got. In here it's a 70 oh it says 89 total I'm guessing that's because it's a rare card gonna balance the other commons balance beetle fly firefly and a shrewd sheep all right got my first card one out of 500 or yeah 125 out of 500 The, uh, the foil cards I got with the Uno packs, um, I'm thinking about getting graded because I know they don't have like a ton of value, but that shit sold out so quick. Uh, versus, I know there's a lot more of these out there. I'm sure like the one out of ones and the the ones that are a little bit more than just rare will be like pretty cool. But I don't know those those. Fancy little ones are gonna be pretty sweet. One thing 
I'm hoping for is at some point, so I'm a big fan of the accountability ant. Um, if I ever meet him, I'm definitely bringing a couple cards with me and I'm hoping I'll sign one. Got the Forever Phoenix. Got the Whimsical Wolf. 67 Tenacious Termite. And the Tasteful Malayan Tapir. Come here. I got a rare one. Really? It's not the epic one, but it's rare. Nice. I can I can hide you from the camera. My wife doesn't like being on camera. Little berries. Do I just? She got stung by a bee today. Remember that TikTok creator, um, the Dadvocate? Uh -huh. She started out a video today saying, oh, your dog must have got, your dog's paw must have got stung by a bee. I think she manifested it. Damn it, Dadvocate. The next question is, with with this card, I have, I'll have to do the math on how, how rare it is. Because 52 times 55,000 is how many of these cards exist. So even though it says it's 125 out of 500, how many cards have that equal amount of rarity? That's the math I'm going to have to do. We got the Independent Inchworm, we got the Consistent Cougar 58, the Decisive Duck 53, and the Dedicated Dragonfly 54. Seems like no one's really, I don't think I've seen anything below a 50. Seems like a, so what I don't understand is like the game, it's like war pretty much. If you've ever played war with cards, I just... I kind of, I'm hoping he ends up coming out with a slightly more complex game that actually, like, the, the aura, the skill, and the stamina, like, make a difference for. I can't say that I'm, like, super impressed so far with, like, the quality of the cards. Like, they feel like... I feel like mid '90s, like tops football cards. Not, I mean, just cardboard with a little bit of like plasticky finish to it, but nothing like. I, I guess the rare one's kind of nice. I never, th I never thought about the fact that I actually have a little bit of experience, like touching and feeling and having an opinion on cards. Kind Warrior Common. We got another three commons. Thoughtful Three Horned Hair Pit. The Loyal Lobster. And Mojo Mouse. Now I can see if you're just playing with common cards, like I can see playing the game might be kind of fun. The other thing I'm curious about is. I wonder how hard it would be to get like the full set of, I think there's 250 characters. Uh, I'm not likely to do that because I'm only, uh, the boxes that'll show up to this house will have 152 and I'm sure I'll have duplicates. So we definitely won't get a full set, but that would be interesting. For those that were a part of V Friends in the um, Series 2 drop, um, when it came out, if you were on the whitelist, 
then you had like a bunch of time to make it and you had, the only way you could get on the whitelist was having book games. So we got really lucky and were able to do two of them off the whitelist. And then from there, oh, we get another brown rare one. Toronto and St. Louis. 218 out of 500. That's kind of cool, I guess. I, I think it's a baseball reference. I don't know why he would care about that, but that's confusing to me. Toronto versus St. Louis. The Cardinals versus the Blue. Oh, wow. Right back to back is the common one and the the rare one. Now I'm realizing how much sweeter it would be to get an epic, given that I've now gotten two rares out of one. Let's see, it's easier to count how many. It's four packs left, so it's out of nine packs, I've gotten two rares. It's interesting, there's no. Um, I kind of wish there was like a number. So if there's 251 characters, it'd be really cool if there was like a number out of 251 so that there was some sort of like order to them. Like if you wanted to, I, I guess you could just do alphabetical. But you know what, I'm gonna share some grievances. So Gary, I love pretty much everything about what you're creating here. The only disappointments have been the quality of the clothes and um, and the quality of these cards I'm a little unimpressed with. But the clothes really like very coarse material. Like I don't enjoy putting the shirt on for the way that it feels on my body. I just enjoy like, I do love the fact that it's pink um, and I do love what it represents but the material honestly sucks. And also the fact that the hoodie has no drawstring, what are we doing here? So that's why after I open these packs, I'm 100% finally going to put a drawstring in it. I stole it from my hoodie that has a yellow one. All right, we've got four more commons, 60, 58, 59, 63. Dynamic Dinosaur, OG Ox, Gracious Grasshopper, and Quick Quail. I don't know what to make of the uh, the fact that there's only four cards per pack. It's interesting. It's uh, it makes me curious when you know when like a big card company like Tops or Upper Deck or something comes out with like a new set, just like straight Upper Deck or Tops or Tops Chrome or something. Like, how many total cards do they have? So like, I know there's the ones that are like numbered out of 500 or 100 or 1,000. But like, technically they're all numbered. It's just the question of how many exist. So I'm really curious how many exist of all of those common cards. So we're gonna do some math at the end of this to do some calculations will be fun. Jolly Jacko, we get the Macro Micro, the Patient Panda, the Entrepreneur Elf. Those are those are two important characters in the in the V Friends universe. I'm really hoping I, I don't even care if it's a common. I, I do want a resilient red devil. That would be pretty great. Because the resilient red devil is the one that I we actually bought one of the more I traded up and bought uh, a more expensive NFT. So the Resilient Red Devil, you could buy, you could enter the raffle to be on the wait list for the Resilient Red Devil if you had two champagne frames. So I, I already had one, I obtained a second champagne frame 
they're now down to like a thousand dollars. I feel like he's gonna do some good things with champagne frames in the not so distant future. So I do intend on obtaining another one, but um, yeah, the resilient red devil, he made a point to saying like the black cat, red devil, like are significant characters in the V friends like future universe. So I'm very, I would love to pull Black Hat here. Get a ch courageous cockatoo. We get a cynical cat. We get a daring dragonfly. And we get a dapper dachshund. So we also have a dapper dachshund NFT. So that one's kind of special. I think we also have a slain slug. So the NFTs we got are dapper dachshund. Slain Slug, Resilient Red Devil. That is the first card I've gotten to match the V2 friends that we have. Yeah, it would be, it would be, I can, I can see myself like bring these with me to VCon next year. I very much would like to attend VCon next year. I'm playing with some people. I'm just playing with common cards. I have also not pulled a Persian cat. Persian cat is the only um, perfect 75. I feel like if I had a if I had a black cat I probably wouldn't play with it because I wouldn't want to lose it to a perfect Persian cat. I guess the danger in playing with a rare is you could lose it, but at the same time, like, it's a good chance you would beat other... Ooh, we got another rare. Let's go. There we got a protective panther. <laughs> we get a knowing gnome. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to get those created. Got the karma kiwi. We get the who's born in 1997. I don't understand. Right, so we got three rares, so out of 52 cards, three of them were rare. Again, I'll have to do the math to see like how rare rare is. So let's try to do some math in my head right now. I'm gonna do some rounding. So 55,000, I'm just gonna round to 50,000. Um, and 52, I'm gonna round to 50 which is approximately how many boxes of cards are being sent out. So I'll have to double check to see. It'll be interesting to see like a pie chart of these things, I think, but 50 times 50,000 would be the same as saying five times 500,000. So that's about 2.5, there's about 2.5 million cards out there. So if there's 2.5 million cards out there. Yeah, I'm gonna need a spreadsheet probably. All right, so these are the best cards I got. So I got a rare knowing gnome, it's kind of shiny. I got a rare kind warrior. He's, he seems like kind of an important character. I got a rare Toronto versus St. Louis. Eh. I got a patient panda, 74, common. I got an entrepreneur elf, 71. Uh, got the macro, micro B. Uh, this one's close to our heart because we have this V2 friend pretty sure the protective panther is kind of an important character i feel like there's one or two other good ones i got in here that i, that I was glad i get yeah. karma kiwi cynical cat courageous cockatoo daring dragonfly dynamic dinosaur og ox gracious grasshopper quick quail rational rattlesnake radical rabbit toronto versus st louis mojo mouse Loyal Lobster, Thoughtful Three-Horned Hairpick, 
kind warrior, consistent cougar, independent inchworm, decisive duck, dedicated dragonfly, tasteful mullion, tapper, tenacious termite, whimsical wolf, forever phoenix. That one feels kind of significant to me. Shrewd sheep. Fly, firefly, balanced beetle, humble hedgehog. Genuine giraffe's kind of big. I also have the genuine giraffe shirt. Boisterous beaver. Accountable ant eater. It's kind of big. 65, humble hummingbird. Innovative Impala, Eager Eagle, Turnt Tick, Perspective Pigeon, I think is kind of big. Warm Wolverine, Versatile Viking, 73, Curious Crane, the world is plenty of love to start listening to it. Big Game Bandicoot, and the Likeable Leopard. So I guess if I wanted to sort these, so, I think I was born an engineer. My parents said that I would just spend, and I, I recall some of this, but not all of it, that I just used to sort my cards for hours, like sorting them. Re I was like a, it's like I was a database specialist before I sold software about databases or like cared about engineering. So I'm gonna sort these into cards in their 50s versus 60s because it, that feels like one way to start out. 64, oh, that's just the Thoughtful Three-Horned Terrapin is a 73, so that's uh, Kind of Warriors at 71, so I guess that's relevant. The uh, 70 plus seem like, be like pulling like a, a better sports player maybe. 754, 56, 60, 61, 50s. No, I'm not going to do more sorting from there. I think we're going to do the hoodie thing now. See the 50s on the bottom, 60s. And then we got, let's see, these are all 70s. Respective Pigeons is 69. Cowboy Animal here is 65. Gin Draft 69. Dapper Dachshund is just going to stay up here. 60. These all around the seventies. Wow, even even the Toronto one is still. It only gets up to sixty three. Is that little one because it's rare? So my highest one is the Kind Warriors in eighty nine total. I'm guessing the Epic Gary B is probably like a one hundred or something. So this is the way to play this game. Goal is to collect as many of the V Friends collectible trading cards as possible. Every V friend character is a score made up of their aura, skill, and stamina. Based on the cards vary, there is a multiplier applied to create their total score setup. Two players prepare for gameplay with an equal amount of their own cards. Players count to three and flip over one card. The player with the highest character score wins and keeps the other player's card. In the event of a tie, each player plays three cards face down and a fourth card face up player with the highest face-up card wins every card from that round. If there's another tie, repeat the previous process until there's a winner. The winner takes all the cards from that round. Good luck. Yeah. Um, statistically makes sense, but a little sad I didn't get a, um, a very, very, very lucky black cat. That would have been pretty cool. But um, I'm glad I got a giraffe, a panda. Um, glad we got the dachshund. Glad we got three rares. I feel like
going to keep a couple of these nicer, early, nicely opened packs just for the nostalgia of it someday. Yeah, so I think the, if I got no, if I, I think if I got a red Brazilian red devil, like that would, that would make everything worth it. Reopening my Uno packs. I, I part of the reason I ended up getting two of these was because oh, it's right. It's a selfie scroll. What the? F it's bent. How did that happen? Kind of upsetting. I don't know how that happened. I didn't even open this the other day. I didn't move it. It looks like it almost looks like the person that sold us this messed with it. Where there's no chance I could have done this. Something is wrong here. There, that was tampering. think of what would have needed to happen for this to be bent like this. It's the only one that's bent. I haven't even taken it out. Well, the only course of action I really have is here is return it or leave them a bad review. Pretty annoying. Because that is not getting my money's worth. Melissa. Yeah. I think it was tempered with. Look. Closely. Yeah, can you oh, see? Yeah. yeah, there's a divot in it. Like it's the only one that's fucked up. I don't know how they did it because it didn't look like the tape was messed with. Well, I guess that's what happens when you buy in the secondary market. Probably not gonna get that one graded. I opened this the other night, but I didn't like look at it. I didn't look at its condition or anything, but it's pretty upsetting. But there are a lot more upsetting things in the world to be annoyed about. So I'm just going to remember that 
we're talking about collector's items and we spent 40 bucks on it so it's not that much money so I guess I didn't really show you all this so that's the card but you can kind of see you can see that's clearly bent Fuck, man. So, I'm definitely gonna message that person and say that's an issue. And it seems like they probably tried to mess with it or something. But I hope there aren't pe other people buying you no know, packs off of them that are getting finessed. Right now I'm just going to leave it in the box as it was because I don't want that to be put on me for yeah, it didn't look like it was tampered with. I don't know. It's pretty shitty. Pretty shitty, but at least I know this one's not messed with. As I recall looking at it and not seeing any blemishes. This is the wallaby. So this is the, what's it called? Something wallaby. Yeah, the wild wallaby. So apparently this one is, um, on the rarer side of things. Definitely need some. I feel like these are kind of flimsy, so I think getting some hard plastic for it would be great. But yeah, this is gonna live in here with the uh, the other ones. But yeah, one of these card games I'm definitely gonna end up playing. I think it will be fun. Fuck. Damn squirrel, man. Sad. Now, for the DIY portion of this event. Oh, it's not that thin. Digging this box, it's pretty cool. It's cooler than any like box of cards that I've ever owned. So yeah, here's for the DIY. So I got this, and this is for my old um, my old camp counselor hoodie. And I'm going to be putting it into friends hoodie so here we go it's usually a little hole right there
here, or just make a little cut. that I don't regret this. I mean, I have another one, so if for any reason I don't like it, I can just take it out or wear the other one. Well, Zach, what are we going to talk about since no one's watching? Well, Recently, one of the things that I recognize I need accountability for is putting more poetry out on TikTok. So for those that don't know, I have a little bit more of a following on TikTok than I do here on Instagram, that, I mean YouTube, um, about 80,000 followers. And they, I don't think they really know that I do any kind of poetry. They know that I am an, an okay dad try to at least be a pretty good dad, but that's about it. They don't know that I try to make art. Probably don't know that I have music videos. Um, so that's one thing that I've been wanting to, partially for marketing, partially for, um, you know, getting my voice out there and being vulnerable and sharing with the world. I like the idea of putting something out there that I'm scared to put out there, sort of. I know I've put out a couple of things that I've been scared to share and typically had some sort of good results with it. So I'm hoping this will be a similar experience. But I think it's just it takes a little bit more effort and I haven't been putting in a ton of effort into making videos and putting up stuff. It doesn't take that long. I don't know, I lost it, where'd he go? There it is. It's getting there, it's looking good actually. There's no like track in here, so it's just it's wild and free up in here. Lost it again. Just wiggling it on down. Going it on down to he asked. Sorry, I'm realizing I'm doing this and you can't see what I'm doing. Not that you would be able to see what I'm doing, even if I had the camera on. I think that the lack of drawstrings and the coarseness of the material has been a bit disappointing. The buying on the secondary market is now things that I'm really not a fan of, the fact that I'm pretty sure there was probably a better card that they probably replaced with whatever, with that selfie squirrel. They probably had a couple of packs, got a good one, switched it out and fucking bent it. Probably in the process of trying to make it 
make it not look tampered with. All right, I kind of like how that looks. Let's go show us up. No. All right, let's call it a day for this live stream. Well, thank you. Thank you, Internet, for being a friend. Hope I'll look fondly back on this time. I'm gonna go work on making some content. Later.